Hi, welcome to the part 19 of this video series. In this playlist, we are looking at AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Real Questions. So in this part, we will look at questions which are linked with these topics, three topics. Please, please, please hit the subscribe and the like button. It helps you understand and gauge what the audience is looking for. For previous questions, please refer the previous parts. Let's jump into this question. The question is very simple. You want to acquire unused EC2 instances at reduced prices. Basically, it's something like a bidding. You know, earlier we had eBay.com. So in, on this website, we used to bid for buying the products and whoever has the highest bid gets the products. So we need a solution which is something similar to this. Out of these four options, if you see only spot instances has this capability. It runs fault tolerant workloads and it will help you with 90% savings. Remember, if your workloads are critical, you cannot use spot instances because your spot instances can go away anytime. Whoever bids higher can take it away. So why you want to use spot instances? If you want low and predictable prices, you want massive scale and easy to use, then you can use it. But do not use it for critical workloads. Okay, that is point number one. And spot instances, they make use of spare EC2 capacity that is available for less compared to on-demand price. Even over on-demand pricing, even over on-demand pricing, this is cheaper. So what you can also do is you can get a pool of spot instances which are set of unused EC2 instances or uh, you can do a spot pricing. That is the current price of a spot instance per hour. You can do a spot instance request. And this is recommended EC2 instance rebalance is recommended. EC2 emits an instance rebalance recommendation signal to notify you that spot instance is at an elevated risk of interruption. Okay, so th this is very useful. So if you uh, want to be alerted that when will I lose this instance so that your workloads can be stopped, then you can use this. So you can proactively balance. Once you get the alert, you can rebalance your workload so that you can put some new spot instances so that your workload can still run uninterrupted. So this is my answer. D is my answer. But let's look at others. Dedicated instances. If you see this, see it's like dedicated. You you need milk every day. You have a big family. You have to serve the milk to every each and every person. Then what will you buy? You will buy a dedicated cow. The cow will sit at your home and you will milk the cow and everybody will drink the milk. That is dedicated instances. Dedicated instances means you know there is critical workload going on and every every day for eight hours you need this instance. You do a dedicated instance. It is not going to help you with uh, reduced prices. You reduce prices, it will increase your price. So C is wrong. It is very costly. Even reserve instances are very costly. What happens with reserve instance? See, you save when you reserve, but the problem is you have to reserve it for one to three years period. Okay, so if you don't reserve for that long, uh, and you have to, you get maximum discount if you pay upfront for those three years. You pay upfront, so you can save the cost. Okay, so you have options like all upfront, you will save the cost, or partial upfront, you will save little, or no upfront also. Then there is not much of saving. Okay, so like I told you, if you buy reserve instances you pay larger upfront payment the greater is the discount you can use reserve instances when you need uninterrupted 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 workloads okay so reserved is wrong here on demand instances this is expensive this will not help you with uh, reducing the prices because it, it is on demand like whatever you use you pay for it so it is still expensive compared to spot instances so this is my final answer let us look at this question so basically this requirement is saying is you want to do penetration testing penetration testing see penetration testing is one sort of security based testing what it does is it tries to you know penetrate into your environment just like bad players do and this is ethical they try to penetrate and see at which point there is a security lapse where people can penetrate into your application so if you want to do that penetration testing on aws what procedure you should follow out of a, a to D? What procedure you should follow? The first one says conduct penetration testing using inspector. See, inspector we don't use to conduct penetration testing. So, inspector is used for vulnerability management at scale to prevent the bad players. Who are bad players? Hackers. You are not a bad player. Hackers are bad players. This is how it works. Inspector will run through all 
the workloads and it will try to discover and scan it will see if there are any vulnerabilities it is not used for penetration testing so a a is wrong b says request and wait for approval from customers internal security team boss you have to do penetration testing on aws what will customer why you want customer approval it is not a customer data center it is aws data center so who will approve aws support will approve right hence b is wrong b is wrong C says notify AWS support and then conduct testing immediately. See, the thing is, this is not totally correct. You have to request and wait for approval from AWS support and then conduct testing. C is just saying you notify. It's just like some of the opposition leaders saying, I want to become Prime Minister of India. They are just notifying you. They will not do anything for you. They don't want your approval. They think they have their from dynasty. They deserve they have every right to become the prime minister they will not work for it they will only notify you boss i am going to become the prime minister that does not work aws has to approve okay because it is their environment you are running a penetration test on their environment they have to approve it you just cannot just inform them they have to approve it so this is my final answer let's look at the next one which service would be responsible for network connection in hybrid design what is hybrid design you have on-prem you have cloud both some applications reside here some application reside here this is connected that is hybrid design in hybrid design what will you use what is would be responsible for network connection the simple thing for network connection you have to use direct connect okay amazon vpc is just a virtual private cloud inside amazon it will not work with on-prem direct connect out of these options direct connect will work with on-prem directly services for managing your users etc this is not relevant here okay and api get if you want to create publish monitor and secure rest HTTP and WebSocket APIs at scale, then you can use it. If you are using applications like microservice based application, you are using APIs, then you can use this gateway for that purpose. Okay, so this is the architecture of API gateway. This is why we use API. API gateway will not help you with the hybrid design, it will not help you connect on prem to your AWS network. So D is wrong. If you see AWS directory service, it is just like managed Microsoft Active Directory in AWS. See, Active Directory is a Microsoft product. It is used to create users and it is used for authentication purpose, not authorization. Authentication. Okay. It authenticates. You enter your user and password for your application. It goes to Active Directory and says, okay, I know this guy. This guy can use this username and password. That is the purpose. The purpose of c is not to connect between on-prem and cloud so this is my final answer direct connect it is used to create dedicated network connection to aws from on-premises so you have your on-premises this is your data center you have a direct connect in between and then it connects to your aws regions this is your branch office you have direct connect in between and this is how it connects to aws regions so connectivity high in a hybrid scale hybrid model so we lock this answer and move forward please hit the subscribe please hit the subscribe and the like button it helps me motivate myself to put in more contents across for various certifications please do not ref, uh, forget to refer all all the parts in this playlist if you have to clear aws cloud practitioner certification exam these are all real questions in this part we covered questions linked with these topics see you in the next part